Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to insert pictures into your p5.js app. So as you can see, I am inside a folder with just two files, an index.html file and a sketch.js file. And the code within each of these files is displayed here. So the index file basically just refers to the p5 libraries and a sketch.js file and the sketch.js file is pretty much empty right now it's got a setup function and a draw function so i'm now going to show you how to insert a picture into my uh, p5.js app so in the setup function is where you want to import the picture now the code for importing a picture is load load image Okay, so the load image, um, you need to have the file name of the picture you want to insert. So let's put in, let's say, dog.jpg. Okay, so dog.jpg is basically a picture that you can get from the internet or wherever. Um, maybe you're, you're going to draw it yourself, but this dog.jpg has to exist in this same folder okay but it doesn't exist right now so what we need to do is go on to google and download a picture okay and download a picture that um that we can import into this folder so let's try and do that so i'm going to go to google images and i'm just going to download let's say a dog and let's just download a picture of a dog just whichever one you think is cute or whatever so let's download a really small picture so just right click save image as and make sure you save it in the same folder as these files so i'm just going to click the address bar copy the address paste it here and i'm going to save it as dog.jpg so save and then you can see in this folder if i refresh it i now have dog.jpg in this folder so now i can load the picture into my app now the second thing you need is a variable to store this picture in so i'm going to create a new variable var img so the variable name is called img and then i'm going to say image equals and this is going to load the picture dog.jpg into this variable so this variable is now going to be a p5 image variable so now where am i going to put this picture well i need to place a canvas on the screen so let's go create a canvas and how big do we want it well let's say 800 by 600 pixels okay then what do i want to do i want to actually display the picture on my canvas so to do that i'm just going to put in image bracket and then i'm going to type in the name of the image variable and where do I want to position it? So I'm just going to position it at zero, zero. Okay, now, if I want to um, test out whether it's working, usually what you would do is you would double click on index.html and you see whether the picture loads. You can see the picture is not loading. And here is the reason. Okay, p5.js is designed for your app to be uploaded onto a web server for it to work. Okay, and that's what's happening with pictures. They want you to upload it onto a web server. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my files. I'm going to upload onto my website. 
so I'm going to upload it onto my website now if you don't know how to set up an FTP to upload to a web server uh, there are my there are some tutorials on my channel that teach you how to do that so uh, just Google something like upload via FTP magic monk or how to upload to a web server and you should find the video that teaches you how to set up a file transfer protocol FTP server so now that it's uploaded I can now go to my um, I can now go to my website and get this app. So to get to it, the address is magicmonktutorials.com slash p5 slash images. And you can see that the image of the dog is now working. All right, so it will not work locally, but it will work once you upload it onto a web server. So now we want to explore some other things we can do. So let's change the X and Y coordinates of the picture. So let's say we want to move it to the right. So that's the first number determines the X coordinate. So let's say we want to move it to the right 100 pixels, save. And I'll upload it again. And you can see on the web server, if I refresh, it moves 100 units to the right so this amount of space is 100 pixels I'm just gonna um, dock the window we can see it a bit better so let's say I want to move this down a bit move this picture down a bit so I'm gonna move it 50 units down and you can see the dog is gonna go 50 units down okay so this amount of space is 50 units now we want to specify the height and the width of the image so let's say I want the image height to be a hundred and the width to be also be a hundred so if I save that upload it onto the web server and refresh you will see that the width and the height of the image is now 100 pixels but let's say that I make the width, uh, the height, let's say 200. Okay, you're going to see something funny here happening. And that is the image is going to be squished. Okay, so we don't want that. So what we're going to do is make sure that the width and the height of the image is proportional to what it was originally so the scale doesn't get messed up so what we need to do is use instead of setting um, random numbers here we're gonna use the variable image dot width so what this does is it looks at the image variable and it retrieves the width of this image of whatever image you've put in the image variable once we retrieve it we divide it by two okay and then we're going to do the same thing with the height divided by two okay so let's see what happens save refresh Oops, I need to upload it. Nearly forgot. Refresh so you can see that this is approximately half of what it was. So let's say I want to divide it by three. Then it's going to be a third of what it was. So let's see that. And obviously if I want to double it, I can, for example, times it by 1.5 times by 1.5 and it'll now be 1.5 times the original size I keep forgetting to upload it okay so that is your first lesson on how to upload an image to uh, your p5.js app thanks for watching guys see you next time
for watching guys, see you next time.